So this is the Southwest Dairy Development Centre and it's in Somerset near Shepton Mallet. We're here today because we are now open for business. This is a research facility that's sitting on commercial land. Steamboat Farms runs this dairy unit on a day-to-day -day basis on their land. AgriEpi has built the facility with funding from Innovate UK. We are at Beard Hill Farm. We've got poultry here and obviously the, the Southwest Dairy Development Centre. The idea was mooted. We thought it was uh, something we were quite keen to be involved in. Technology seems to be the way forward in, in our lives. This is a working farm. It has to work and earn its profit where we can test and produce products and we can measure the inputs and outputs of the whole farming ecosystem and actually start to push the boundaries of what's possible in the dairy sector. So it makes it an absolute unique place in the country. So we take innovative ideas, we culture them in our university farms, we can then develop them into a product here before field testing them on our network of farms around the country. So one of the things we're most excited about here is to use robotic milking in conjunction with precision grazing. Our grazing platform extends to 100 acres. So they can go out to a paddock for eight hours, come back at any time during those eight hours, get milked, and after that then the gate will change and they'll go to a fresh paddock. So they'll get three fresh grazings in, in every 24 hours. From that we can actually work out exactly what we're doing with the cow, but we can control the environment to give it the most stable and friendly environment for her to flourish in, whilst doing it in a sustainable manner. An important element of what we built here is that we've got a really good visitor space, which has got fabulous view into the building. Cows have arrived 15 days ago and are settling in really well and everything is relaxed and calm with a great cow comfort. The cows can go and get themselves milk when they want to. Foot baths to prevent foot disease, which automatically replenish themselves. We've got automated feeding coming out on the rail. You can see the feed uh, delivery system delivering out fresh feed 15 times a day, not just fed once a day, allowing feed to spoil. The feed trough has a resin base to it, giving it a glass smooth finish. We're feeding grass silage, maize silage, a blend and minerals. We have a maternity unit, so each little stall has their own water bed, giving great cow comfort. I think there's a lot of new technology is coming. Um, it's already on, the, on or in the cows. So the cow has a collar with a transponder on the collar. There's also technology around the building monitoring the environment the cows are in. The building has been designed with a fabric roof letting in great natural light. There's also no hot spots. A lot of the time we don't need any electric lights on at all. The curtain side walls are automatic as well, climate control. The data we're collecting here uh, isn't just about the information that the normal farmer can get, but it's taking it to the next level. So we're combining sensors from several manufacturers to get a real output of exactly what's happening with the cow to the minutest detail. The data points being body temperature, activity, rumination, eating times, water intake times, volume of water intake. We know what time the cow is milked, what her conductivity of the milk was, the environment is clean with the robot Lely scrapers. We have methane detectors uh, looking out across the grazing platform and also on our slurry store as well. It is about the total full circle of dairy farming. It's a hard enough job anyway dealing with animals and anything that can help and make life easier, more manageable, less hours on the job, ultimately improve the environment, improve the cow's health and welfare has got to be a good thing. That's the key thing to all of this technology, is enabling earlier intervention, but also importantly, identifying when she's in heat. As an organisation, we operate right across all the sectors, so not just in dairy, beef and sheep, pigs and poultry, arable, horticulture and aquaculture. We have a number of satellite farms and we're looking to widen that whole network. It's just so exciting to see it all come together uh, and working so well. And, I'd just really like to acknowledge the teamwork that's been gone into achieving that. And our relationship with AgriEpi is, is long and fruitful. You know, I've been involved with this from its original idea in my head. It's just massively satisfying to see the result, which is 
really happy cows being highly productive. I think looking forward what it is now is, is really exciting. We're particularly interested in working with innovative companies that maybe not engaged with agriculture ever before, but they might have something that they think that could work. Please go to our website for more details. Mm -hmm.